Parker paused the video and ruined my last recording of this game. Thanks, Parker. <clears throat> this is Witchin' Hour. This is a two-stage demo of a uh, em up style game. So you move with your arrow key. For some reason, the game doesn't support um, analog stick. It has full controller support otherwise, but I would like that in the final version. Um, I'm so used to using the analog stick due to Caves games being on 360. So yeah, basically you want to chain lots of the... The only particular score map mechanic I've noticed is, you know, you want to not get hit, not bomb, and you want to chain all of your coin drops. So, fairly basic combo building, I guess. <clears throat> The, e the normal mode is pretty easy. I I didn't have too much trouble in my first playthrough here, which Parker ruined. <clears throat> He's actually ruined two recordings of this. Uh, the first time I died within less than a minute because of him, so I just restarted. And then um, he, he sat down, and I was so relieved that he sat down last time. Um, and it turns out he sat down on the pause recording button. And so I had only recorded like one minute of the game. Um, so hopefully this goes a little better. He's already sitting, so that's, that's good. I should really just make sure to keep him away. I scare him with tinfoil. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Oop, ah. There is a bomb button that I should press, but I wasn't expecting to get hit. That, that's my main problem with bombing. I, I, I get confident and I don't think I'm gonna get hit unless it's something like a pattern I really know I can't dodge or something. So did I mention this is a two-stage demo? There's gonna be a six-stage game and it's gonna have at least a hard difficulty. So I'm told this mode is a little easy. You know, this is sort of like casual mode for, you know, those of you out there that don't really play too many shoot 'em ups. Um, nothing really too unmanageable going on here. Um, there's gonna be a hard mode that's more for, you know, your standard shoot 'em up player. Uh, I don't know about price or anything. The it's not you know out. There's just a demo. Like this isn't a demo for a fully released game. It's you know sort of a preview demo. So we got a book. I'm not sure if there's gonna be story and stuff, other than you know we're a cute witch and we gotta shoot stuff. I really like the music. It gets pretty nice and crunchy in a bit here. Or was that the first? No, I think it's stage two. But, um... It's gonna... It makes the blocky look work for it. Oh yeah, here we go. Ugh. The game does not have vertical sync, but it has the most stable non-V-sync ever. Like. Just this line very slowly crawls up of desynced pixels. You won't see it in the video because that's not how vSync works. But um, I'm not sure what causes that. Like I, like I know what causes vertical sync issues, but uh, I'm not sure why sometimes it's way stable and sometimes it's not. That's not good. I was definitely not expecting it hit there. Oh, ah. I didn't even use a single frickin' bomb. Let me show you what a bomb does. Oh. <laughs> you gotta hold it. <laughs> yeah, bombs, um, make you invincible and, uh, you shoot a bigger laser. So. They're both a panic button and they let you hurt a boss more, but you're gonna drop your combo. So, you know, it's an escape hatch. It's, it's one of these games, it's like Bullet Heaven 2 where you're actually not supposed to use the bombs. Some games bombs are for scoring, some games bombs are for panicking. It's one of the panic games. Oh, I should have panicked. I itched my nose. Don't itch your nose in shoot 'em up games. That's what the results screen is for. It's there for you so you can scratch your nose. I think these guys share a health pool. Cause I tried focusing on the little birds or griffins. I think they're griffins. Um, to kill them, but not. Nah, didn't, didn't. Ah! Take that! 
didn't seem to work out for me last time. So I'm just gonna, yeah. Attack the main boss here. So I do like her patterns here. Uh, they get a bit more intense. Sorry, I'm sort of cheesing through the boss. I don't want to get another game over. I guess I can just, you know, be Babby in credit feed. But, uh, I'm not trying to show my amazing skill here, but... So yeah, this is Witch and Hour. Obviously, these are the easiest two levels on the easiest difficulty. So there's gonna be more to it. But, uh, oof. My brain is scrolling to the left still. And <laughs> that is Witch and Hour's demo. Um, you can check it out for free for yourself on uh, itch.io. There'll be a link in the description. Um, I'll try to check out the full game whenever it's out. But for now, that is Witch and Hour.